I played washing machine repairman tonight. And I didn't attach a hose all the way tight on the bottom. And I guess when I started spin cycle, it pulled it loose and dumped many gallons of water in the laundry room. And our laundry room is upstairs. So it flooded the kitchen down below. That's the downstairs kitchen. That's after I've cleaned up the water upstairs. It was everywhere. <laughs> Probably 10 gallons of water got dumped <laughs> upstairs. We got this cool uh, dog container thing for the back seat of the car. Hooks on the headrests and on the end ends. So it keeps the dog hair off the seats and stuff. We woke up to a tiny little white Christmas this morning in Indy. Just a dusting of snow, but we're heading back to Tennessee now. It's Christmas Day, and we'll be there this early this afternoon. So we had a nice little visit for Christmas Eve up there with the family. The roads are a little wet, but not really slippery, but it's cold out. It's like 5 degrees, 6 degrees outside with the wind chill. It was right around zero, I think. Look at these ice needles. Those are more than three inches tall. There's a bunch of them here. Shoot, those are probably five inches right there. It's starting to melt. I see things starting to fall. about 35 out right now. We have our first of three visitors coming today. This will be a Bluebird Wonder Lodge in a minute. And you guys know him uh, on our YouTube channel as Gino's Garage. He's coming with his family in his Bluebird Wonder Lodge. We have three buses will be here over the next three days. So this Wonder Lodge coming here, look at that. And then we'll have a Silver Sides later today. And then Dan will be coming back with his flexi liner in two days. That is a beaut. Nice toad. <laughs> That's a rollback trailer.
Okay. Hey, you. <laughs> That's cool. The wheels move. Way up here now. That was cool. <laughs> Take that off to get the door open? Oh yeah. Tongue weight is on it? I don't. I've never met it. I suspect this thing is 15,000. I would I would bet I would have thought it was over 2,000. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> but it's, it, at least it's got two wheels.
Yeah, I didn't like the idea of that way up there, so. So you're missing the cap for your dipstick end, huh? That's how they come. What? I've never seen that like that. No, they yep. don't. Is it rubber on the inside? Yeah, it's got a little... I've never seen that kind. They uh, usually I've have a big several, fat cap on them. I've yeah. seen several of the water lodges like this, no cap on there. Huh. I don't know why, but... It's, some of them, they did them differently. My buddy's, I think, is actually down over here. Yeah. And it runs down the frame rail and goes down. And his has a little cap on it. Maybe it's missing, I don't know, but... I've seen several that don't have them, maybe. Does it, there's a stopper that stops it, though, distance-wise, or how do you know? It's, no, not really. It just... Because <laughs> then how do you know where you're full level? <laughs> it's two inches in further. <laughs> it's one of those things I've got to the point where I know, you know, I stick it in about the same depth and check it at that same depth every time. <laughs> and it's, you know... I, when I, well, and I looked at it, when I pulled the transmission pan, I did the transmission filter, I looked at it and kind of got an idea, but yeah, it's not the best design ever, because that's just a piece of copper tubing. That's all that is. Water Lodge, I think, made that and yeah. ran it down there. Well, it just seems like it's, it, no matter what, you're going to get water, rainwater or something into it. Yeah, you would think it, yeah, I don't like it, but that's how it's always been. I need to see about... I don't know if I could get a little, I wonder if somebody makes a little cap to go on that, straighten that out and slip it over it, I don't know. Just make one with a little slit in the middle. Just yeah, something. just out of a piece of plastic or something. Yeah, you could take a Better plastic Coke bottle cap, put, put a little slit in the middle of it and slide it over it, so hot glue it on there or something. I had this hose <laughs> go on me on this trip already. Oh no. <laughs> so, Did you have a spare or no? No, no. Luckily we were in Chattanooga and there's the... Uh, the, there's an Eaton hydraulic shop down there and still had these fittings and everything in stock so I took the hose down there and the guys made it up for me but, yeah, it was leaking there and then this thing started running bad I was we were parking the trailer just like we were doing here and it started spitting and sputtering and like yeah so when I knew I knew my lines I wanted to get these all these lines I have Actually the Staples the road, but. Allen on his bus, he had a problem with the fuel line like that. Um, he has an Eagle. And what he did, just in a pinch, he bought radiator hose, just thinner diameter, you know, something, yeah. whatever, let's say like this here. Yeah. And he just slid it up over this and put hose clamps on it, on the sealed connector, it. and it yeah. sealed it up so the fuel would leak into the radiator hose part, but it would still pressurize then and, yeah. and no, no well, more leaks. And that's, well, because this is on the suction side, it's really, it's sucking... Yeah. And it was wet, but you know, and when I pulled it off, there was hardly any fuel in it. So I'm like, yeah, that's gotta be it. Is that the way it was rooted before too? It was right yep. through there like that? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I don't know. Mm, seems yeah. to me like there should be a 90 there or something to keep it off of that. Yeah, I didn't really care for that either, but what I might do when I get home is get my buddy to get me some of that sleeving and sleeve it. That's just air equipped, right? That's a- Yeah, that's a Eaton. Yeah. Yeah, that's a number eight. Uh, yeah, that reusable fittings. Yeah, I've got a 250 foot roll of this 516 stuff to redo all that when I get home. Looks Maybe pretty. It's gonna move. Sounds good too. Up. Yeah. How many miles are on this thing? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I the odometer has quit. Okay. So I suspect it's 250 thousand or so. That's that's a lot for one of these. Just yeah. Only because I see them sit so much. Like, yeah. well, I had I have documentation when it was sold in nineteen was it nineteen ninety early nineteen nineties. I can't remember when, but it was early nineteen nineties, and it had one hundred ninety four thousand miles on it. Okay, so I suspect, and it it has two hundred. It had two hundred, but yeah, the counter it clicks 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 and then it'll quit clicking and then click 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 so yeah i don't trust it anymore 